In this video, we're going to show you a new set of table management tools which is going to help you to manage the waitlist in more details. First of all, under the main menu, here is the new menu item called Table Management. Clicking on the Table Management will bring you into the 4 pan mode. And under this menu, here is a list of the existing 4 pan. You can hit the Edit button here, such that it will allow you to delete any existing 4 pan. And hitting the Add button will adding a new 4 pan into the system. You would like to give it a new name for the 4 pan. So let's call it 4 2. Well, you can enter some optional information into the data into the system to identify this 4 pan. And then under this menu, now you need to add some tables for it. By default, it will be have an automatic generated table numbers that you can change. So let's call this table C10. You can also change the colors of the tables as well as the shape of it. You can also specify a capacity for the table. So after saving that table, the next time you add a new one, it will basically a duplication of the last one that you have saved it with the table number increased by 1, which is now C11. You can add as many tables as you like, and in the editing mode, you'll be allowed to move the table around by dropping them. Once you have created the four pan for your restaurant, you can use it together with the waitlist for sitting your customer into the outside the table. On the toolbar up here, there's some more um, buttons. This is the All Active Waitlist button that will bring up the All Active Waitlist menu. And from here, you can select any existing waitlist customer. And then you can hit on the table you will have the um, sitting desk specific customer option for you. Once you have confirmed sitting that customer, it will be removed, uh, removed from the all active list and the table will be marked with a uh, filter with a solid color indicating that it has been occupied. So this is the table number and on top of it is a um, time the number of minutes from the time that the customer has been seated on the table. Hitting the refresh button up here will refresh the whole screens as well as that um, timer. And once the customer is ready to go, you can hit the build button to make it into the build status, which will um, make the table filled up with a color as a much lighter level and once the customer is gone you can clean it up as well as make it as a ready so that it will turn into the white color again to indicate that it is available for the next customer. So let's do that again. We see another customer and now the customer is um details information is actually accessible from this button as well. So this will bring you back into the detail wheel mode that when you hit on that table management button will bring you back into the four pan mode. And this is the back button that will bring you back into the detail mode as well. If you didn't select any customer, you can still be allowed to um, occupy a table by sitting in without any uh, waitlist records specifically.
when you move the you can zoom in and zoom out and move the table around in the four point view, and you can hit the zoom button to bring it back to the center very conveniently. This button is allow you to reset all the table to ready so that you can clean off them one at a time. This is the end of this tutorial. Please feel free to contact us at support at if you have any questions.